Continental Carbonic, a company with a proven track record of success, let's examine Continental Carbonic's chief product, dry ice. Dry ice is made from carbon dioxide gas. The raw CO2 gas CCPI purchases is a byproduct from the production of ethanol or anhydrous ammonia. Raw CO2 gas is transported via pipeline from the ethanol or ammonia plant to one of CCPI's liquid CO2 production facilities. The raw CO2 gas is cooled, compressed, purified, and liquefied. The cooling of the gas requires refrigeration using coolants such as freon and ammonia. Specially trained plant operators control the cooling process. The liquid CO2 is stored under pressure in storage tanks until either sold in liquid form or turned into dry ice, which is simply the solid form of CO2. Liquid CO2 is delivered to customers in tanker trailers owned by CCPI. These customers use a liquid CO2 for various applications including flash freezing food and municipal water pH treatment. The majority of liquid CO2 CCPI produces is used to make dry ice. When the liquid CO2 is released into a non-pressurized environment, most of it turns into dry ice snow. A portion turns back into CO2 gas. Dry ice pellet is made by injecting liquid CO2 into a chamber, then pushing the resulting dry ice snow through a dye plate. The machine that does this is called a pelletizer. Dry ice block is made by injecting liquid CO2 into a chamber then compacting the resulting snow into a solid block. The machine that does this is called a block press. Dry ice block can be cut to the customer's specifications. The CO2 gas remaining is captured and turned back into liquid CO2 through cooling and compression. Dry ice is minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit. The instant it is made, it starts shrinking. Dry ice doesn't turn into liquid like regular ice, but turns back into a gas. That's why it's called dry ice. When a substance turns from a liquid into a gas, the process is called sublimation. Dry ice sublimates into CO2 gas. CCPI works at slowing the sublimation process because we can only sell the dry ice, not the sublimated gas. We store the dry ice in insulated containers and we move the product as quickly as possible from our plants to the customer. Ensuring the availability, repair, and cleanliness of our insulated containers is a very important part of our business. Well, you might be surprised at how versatile a product dry ice is. From construction to the airline industry, an increasing number of companies and individuals are finding that dry ice is the perfect answer to their needs.